on here today. Um, I told you guys I'm going to be bringing my garden stuff to YouTube. So you're going to be seeing um, my ministry work on here that I'm going to be doing as well as my garden work. Again, if you would like to see any other content, you would have to go and watch old videos or go and follow both of my TikTok channels to see other type of content that I will be doing. However, today, all of those plants over there besides that hydroponic, all those plants, those are my aglaonemas, and I have a yellow uh, lemon lime green pothis down there. I have a shrub. Um, Swiss cheese plant, two of them. Where's the other one? Oh, it's hid behind the aglaonema. And then the big ones that you see are aglaonemas in the hydroponic is cherry tomatoes and bell peppers doing the experiment. They actually was bigger than that. It was bigger than that, y'all. I cut them back because it is not time to grow tomatoes or uh cherry bell peppers however you can grow them indoors hydroponically i've seen it done many people are doing it um so i've been experimenting trying to do it however i noticed that mine was turning a bit of yellow so i cut them back because that means they need to get outside or something is wrong need to clean the hydroponic out etc it could be all kind of things but today i noticed that some of my marigolds as you can see was pulling back so therefore we're just getting over the flu we all had flu-like symptoms so we are good holy favor amen glory be to god thank you jesus all that good stuff we're back good and i have been neglecting my plants because i have been doing bible study then i would get right back in the bed because i wasn't feeling well so um yeah, today we're going to do marigolds. I got my little bench over here, so I'm going to sit down, and we're going to cut some off. Also, if you didn't follow me on TikTok today, we did all of these on my TikTok channel. I'm not going to say much about them because I'm going to upload that video on here and set it for premiere. Um, and you guys will get all the background about the vases and the onions and all that stuff that's going on over here, as well as the one that's over there. So, be looking forward for those videos. Once I get them uploaded to YouTube, I am going to set them up as premieres. Hmm. Okay. I don't need no filter. I'm just looking at the new stuff stuff that youtube have enabled flash they are they are doing some doing some stuff all right so i'm gonna come around on this side in just a few but i need to get me something to drink I will be back live to do Bible study at 7 p.m. today. I ain't going to schedule to go live at 7. Do, 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 do. I have 
have in here. Let me check this out. It is hot up in this room, child. I've been in here getting this plant stuff together. And I'm still not done with all my plants. I mean, I'm almost there. Once I water all these, clean it out, water these, and then my big plant that's behind me, water that one. And I'm on the wrong channel. How do I switch to the other one? Which to the other one? It is Vlogmas Day 24. Baby, Christmas is tomorrow. Christmas is tomorrow. All right. So, what I have in here is all my marigold seeds, um, seedlings. Let me bring them down. These are my marigolds. I grew these from seed. These are not store-bought flowers, as you can see they're in here. I grew these from seed. They were growing outside throughout the summer, through the fall, and they were still growing through the winter. However, it was getting cold, so I brought them in, I cut them down, and I put them in my hydroponic. Oh, that's so clumpy. These are marigold seeds that's in here. These, this, that's a lot of different types of seeds in there. Some stuff growing in there. Um, let's see, can I get y'all the right? can see uh, check my camera child testing testing Okay, sound is good. But these are all my marigold seeds. I'm not sure how to put them in there. Whoa, I opened it up from the wrong side. I actually have a lot. I don't know if I put them to YouTube. But these are all my marigold seeds that I kept. And I can grow more and more flowers. The thing is, once you buy flowers, propagate them, keep the seeds, so you don't have to buy them again. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I'm going to throw these in here because I definitely don't, these are dry. paper towel in there and that's what I poured them at the last time. Another water bottle. I got uh, purified water in this thing. Let me get a top. Fill these over. So 
Oh, look, these are all the marigolds that I have kept before from flowers like this. From the other ones that I kept. That is a lot of marigold seeds. Around the summertime, the bees and the hummingbirds are going to love these when I start growing them outdoors. Mm. Y'all hear background noise. My son on the game show. All right. So what I'm about to do A girl can never have too much too many flowers. I love flowers, honey. And baby, I guess what? Your girl started by her own flowers. Don't wait on nobody to buy you no flowers, buy your own flowers. So I already filled this up with water and now I know why they was pulling back like this, dying off. Is because they needed water. As you can see, we have. Let's pull it up some. We have all these bulbs back here that are growing more bulbs. You see all these bulbs? They're gonna turn into flowers. The ones that are bending, they they was reaching for uh my other hydroponic. I was wondering why they was pulling their flowers back like that. That's pollen. That is pollen. You can save that pollen to help um, your flowers or whatever you need pollen for to grow. I got a little baby bud. So all of these are producing new buds. Y'all, I'm still fasting and my stomach is still growling. From the last live, I was live on TikTok and my stomach was growling like a fool. Um, after I do this, I'm going to go make me a smoothie. Let me see. I'm just checking. Oh, they strong too, y'all. These type of flowers are very strong. Um, so, I'm just looking at them, seeing what new growth and buds are coming from them this one right here is the flower like it's time to take it off like the seeds are already lifted up right here they're already pushed out oh my god are y'all one in view all right let me see let me wait come on dang all right so this these right here are already pushed out and it's due from i didn't i didn't add any more water in here child like i said i wasn't feeling well um so now i'm checking my flowers and we are going to cut this one right here you just go down and snip it and there you go so what i'm showing you is how to save your marigold seeds and save them for planting and regrowing uh, flowers, whether you're potting them outside or indoors. All right. How do I get that off? get it off but anywho thanks for the light you guys so right here you're gonna pull this back really it's gonna just push them up but I like to pull this piece that's protecting them god they is strong I'm telling you they see that they smell like marijuana, but this is not a marijuana plant. This is a marigold plant. But they are very strong. Alright, so what I'm doing, I'm pulling the seeds out. 
and you can literally plant this right here and you would grow a whole nother plant. This one seed would grow a plant. See how many plants they would be? Summertime, I think I'm going to plant some back there with all them ugly bushes that in my backyard. And just grow a whole bunch of beautiful flowers back there. Cause all they do back there is throw trash back there. Alright. Let me get this one more seed. Oh, they got two more in there. Get them seeds out, honey. But guess what? 2024, Chris ain't buying no seeds. Uh-uh, I got enough of seeds. You see? That little bud stuck in there. That's what they were stuck on. This little bud right here. Wait a minute. They were stuck on this little bud. Y'all, I'm all out of range. I need to go eat. I done fasted all the way through 19. I ain't been drinking nothing but water. And it's time for a smoothie. Alright. So there's those seeds. And once, as you can see how big they are, once they dry, they'll look like these. They need to dry. You gotta let them dry before you try to regrow them. Um, let's see. She is sticking her big old head out, so. I want to cut her back, too. And I'm going to cut this one back. And the reason why I'm cutting them so the other ones can grow. Help the other ones bloom. These would have been so pretty and the if I would have came in here and water, add water in here. Child. So now you can see I cut all the flowers off and I'll do an update when these grow and bloom. When they grow and bloom. And when this one start growing from seed. But... <sighs> Same thing here. This is how the flower looks. Oh, my stomach. <laughs> I need to cut it. I need to cut it. But then you got to go through that. When you're uh, detoxing or you fasting, you got to go through that. Honey, your, your stomach going to be crying for food. And you have to let that stomach know, no, honey, it's not time to eat. That's a mind thing. You are in control. <laughs> oh boy, I just had a funny thought, y'all. Look at that pollen. I guess what the bees they love is when I have my plants outside, the bees they love this pollen. They get in there. I actually watch, I don't know if I got the video. I got to go on my TikTok and see. I caught the bee falling asleep. He worked so hard inside one of these marigold plants that he fell asleep in it. And then the next day when I went outside, I knew he wasn't dead. Most people would think when bees are still, if they're on the fly, they're dead. They're not. Bees sleep. So the bee was sleep. And he was sleep on the flower, and I just left him alone. I don't know what I was about to do that day. Um, I just plucked these off. The pelvis. But this is what I want, this part right here.
I gotta find it so I can upload it. That bee was sleeping so good. And I mean, I will literally go in my backyard and the bees, I got videos where the bees were touching my leg, just laying on my leg. If you don't move and irritate them, they won't sting you. So that's when they were swarming back there, those yellow jets. They were swarming back there, those baby yellow jets. And they so tiny that they look like flies, but they're not flies, they're bees. And I sat still, and it was all on my leg. I let them sit there for a while. I was on live when it happened on TikTok. And then I was like, okay, okay, okay. I got to go in because this is crazy. That I'm actually letting the bees touch my legs. And they didn't sting me. I don't want the pebbles. Child, this food's about to be so good. It's going to taste like a steak. And I literally got steak in there um, that I'm about to season for tomorrow for dinner. And season these ribs for dinner. You know how the fly was just stuck on there? Yep, that's what you want, that right there. You don't want that. You don't want that seed. I don't learn so much about gardening, so make sure, child, it's going to be a beautiful thing to see this stuff grow. And I already know where the bees and the wasps is at in my backyard, literally. In my backyard on my porch, like I know where their nest is at. All right, honey. So there go our marigold seeds. I'm going to wrap these up this is going in the garbage I like my ring I think I showed y'all this ring I think I did a video on this ring or was it on TikTok so my ring says, put on the whole armor of God. And it is Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. That's what my ring says. And it says, Jesus, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. And it has the verse, and it's metallic. It's metallic in the inside, and it has... Uh, King Ring, that's the brand on Amazon called King Ring. Yep. I'm married to Jesus. <laughs> I'm married to Jesus, baby. Point blank, period. Poo. All right, y'all. So, those are the marigolds. I'm not going to do anything else to this hydroponic right here. We just gonna wait. Um, I do need to add some nutrients in here though. Y'all can see me do that. I'll show y'all the root system. Oh, come on, come on, thing. So they do have new roots. As you can see, the old roots are brown and they've grown clear. The roots are all the way down now. They're actually down there. There they go. Make sure ain't no root rot. So they are growing real good. Um, they do have fresh water in them. And I'm going to add some 
nutrients. So since this is a hydroponic system, anything that you're growing in here, you would add hydroponic garden plant food A and plant food B. And this hydroponic system is 1.5 milliliters. So therefore the measuring is on the back since it's 1.5. Uh, wait a minute, let me see. This one is not right there. I think this one takes five milliliters. Yep, five milliliters. This will take five milliliters. 1.5 liters would take five milliliters. So you shake it up and it has to take part A and B. It don't matter which one you put in first. Some people, you can see videos and they'll be talking about which one needs to go first. It doesn't matter. It has a measuring cup. So you measure your food. And the measuring is from 5, 10 to 15. Am I in range? I don't know. Can't even see. So it's 5 milliliters. And then I'm going to add that in here. This will last you a long time. Keep an eye of the light. It needs to be in darkness, not in light. And I'm going to do the same thing. You would do five milliliters nutrients. And that's to help the plant grow and also keep algae and all that stuff down. And then I would take, y'all won't see me, but I'll get my spray bottle and I will just spray the top of it. This part was dusty and stuff because you ain't using no chemicals, no chemicals, right? That's the greatest one. This is my first time I've showed people that you can take your plant from outside and if you're trying to save it through winter time and let it finish growing hydroponically, it can be done because living proof is right here. I literally grew these outside in my front yard in the ground um, by my water hose, where my water hose was at. And I'm glad the maintenance people, they noticed it, that it was a distinctive flower. It's different from the flowers that's out there. And they didn't cut it, but um, once it started getting cold, I took it out the ground and I brought it indoors. But yeah, so now we're just going to wait on all these babies right here, all these buds, to open up, flower up. And this is done. And that is done. So what I'm going to do with this... These marigolds right here. I can't get this uh thing off of here. This let me see. It's in the way. Jesus. What is that? Enable flash. Oh, okay. I didn't know they had that on there. I'm just clicking on all kind of stuff. Alright, anyhow, leave that alone. I'm live on my cell phone, so I'm looking at all the stuff. YouTube is always changing something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap this up in this paper towel. And I'm going to stick them back in a dark box. I'm also going to take this paper towel here and place them over this one. I need to get a top for that one. The ones that we just plucked off, I'm going to take them and put them in this dark box and let them dry. Just set them in there and forget them. Not forget them. But you know how it goes. Set it and forget it. Oh, God. Alright. And I'm going to get them out of the way. These I need to get a lid for, but I will do that once I get off the camera. So now what I'm going to do is I need to move this way. Oh, God. Whoa. Good. 
I was about to bust my butt, child. Boo. I guess I could bring them over here. That way I don't have to move this camera. Let me see. I probably can take it off for a minute. All right. So, how do I get this off here? I don't want this on. It got all these different filters on here. Eight millimeter. Oh, look how it look. Vintage. <laughs> it makes it look vintage. Oh, so venti. I like that. All right, no filter. But anywho. So down here, what I have, this is a lemon lime poultice. That is, this plant right here does not like to be in the light at all. Um, She is scratching so far. As you can see, her tips are burnt because she don't like the light or either she needs water. Um, I don't even see my, what's the name in here? To check. Over here, these are my desert plants. This is a jade plant and it's another one right there and this is my echevera party dress all of that is new grow growing growing all this going um they supposed to be green if they're turning red it's okay it's just that they're getting much light but they supposed to be green um, desert plants fill their leaves up with water. Okay. Let me see. You can stick your finger in there and go one to two inches deep. And my finger literally went all the way. So, girl, she is completely dry. The sea moss needs to be wet. It is completely dry. This plant likes to climb. I actually cut her and made her into two. And ever since I did it, she's been doing horrible. This is a aglaonema plant. And they grow so much. So I'm going to water her. This is the aglaonema. Like they grow really fast. I just border in the middle. I do have some uh, cuttings from those down there. This in here. This is not this is child abuse. This is not the way you water your plant. But my sprayer is not in here and I'm not about to go get it. These are cherry tomatoes and bell peppers that I cut back. Let's experiment. I also put one in dirt today. Like they look so freaking fake. They look so fake. I have one right here, but I got to fix it. I just dropped it right there. I got to cover it up with more dirt. And I'm actually using both of my hands. So this is dangerous to drop my freaking pot. So let me sit her over here. We're going to see. This is an experiment. I love experimenting with plants. She looks so fake, but she's not. <laughs> It's just how she looks. It's cherry tomatoes. I cut these was big. I cut them down because it's not time for them to bloom yet. Um, what I'm gonna do is take this like bill amount.
I actually had something in here. So I only took one. Oh, y'all can't even see what I'm doing, child. This is a cherry tomato. She was growing hydroponically. The sponge, she's still in the sponge. Her roots are down in here. And what I'm going to see if I can get her to grow in here. This got to be cleaned up. All right, so that water. I'm going to sit her up there. That way she can get light from there. Um, Big Mama over there, she got to be watered. But I need to go get my water. I forgot what the thing called. I stick it in there. To, it'll tell me if I need to water her or not. I bought one of those. Because I was over watering my plants. And that's what I'm about to go get. I'm going to use my other hand. But I'm about to get off here. I really just came on here to show you guys how to save your seeds for marigolds. I got another plant back there. That's a uh, that's a shrub. I bought this plant. That piece right there. This is what they call a Swiss cheese plant. That and this one was a whole plant. I split it. Um, and I bought it from a TikTok seller. There's my first time buying a plant off of TikTok. Um, and I'm not sure if I do that again because... I just know where to go now <laughs> to get uh, my plants from. Beautiful, beautiful plants. But, yeah, guys, we did the marigolds. I'm about to get out of here so I can finish cleaning up my room. And I will be back on here to show you guys more plant stuff. While we're at it, let's go ahead and get some positive affirmations before we leave. Play nice. Work hard. Stay kind. Your attitude determines your reality. Strive for progress, not perfection. Dream big, work hard, make it happen. And my favorite, live, laugh, learn, and follow your dreams. But most importantly, believe in yourself. Dare to be different. Child, don't get on here trying to be like nobody else but yourself. Be your authentic self, okay? eventually the mask will come off and you have to show who you really, really are. All right. People can only pretend for so long. Not saying that I'm pretending, baby, because I always been myself 100. Okay, Chris, calm down. But what I'm saying is be yourself. Okay. Don't try to copy or do anything like nobody else. Be your authentic self and you will see how you will grow spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, and most definitely financially. With that being said, y'all, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Tell my known mm, with that coffee. Hey, how you doing? Um, and I will see you guys back. I'll be back on here at 7 p.m. Eastern time for Bible study. I'll see you guys later. Peace.